Hi guys and welcome back to another best possible squad builder by myself Bates in 87. Today we are doing England. Now, there is one rule broken in this and I do aim to stick with the one position change rule. Um, but because of this because of this one player, he actually does play holding midfield now. Not only for England but also for Manchester United as well. And uh, you guys know that as Wayne Rooney. So he has. I have broken the position change for him uh, just to fit him into the team. But it has completely changed compared to what it was at the start of FIFA. Obviously a lot of these legends do not even make it in unless I wanted to play him at centre midfield and uh, obviously at Cam as well but it just doesn't look right like Owen, Shearer and Lineker playing in centre midfield and Cam just doesn't look right and he never played that position through the career as well so if you guys do want MSP PSN codes or cheap game codes go and check out G2A.com their link is down below if you're trying to smash over 5,000 likes that'd be absolutely awesome and guys subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already now last week we actually did the best possible Argentina team if you guys haven't checked that out feel free to go and do so um, as that one was a very very stacked squad build and so is this one now in the goalkeeper position guys we do actually start off with a legend and um I think even when Jamie Carragher makes it in, uh, it becomes like an English defender. I honestly don't think he makes it into the best possible England team at start of FIFA 17 either. But we do have Seaman, the first legend in the team. He is joined by another legend, which is Bobby uh, Bobby Moore from West Ham, ex-West Ham player. And uh, World Cup winner for England. And then the right back is Gary Neville. So the partner in crime of the Monday um, Monday Night Football. Obviously uh, Neville and Carrie are going to be paired up come FIFA 17 as well. But a nice uh, rundown of legends already in the team. And I think actually... Off the top of my head, I think that is the last of the legends, unless you call the international man of the match ones legends as well. In the centre back position, matching uh, Bobby Moore is obviously team of season Smalling with his 88 rated, and then left back is going to be the international man of the match hero card, and that's what I've called them. They're probably not the right name for them. It is Ashley Cole, 92 pace, very very solid left back. Now joining him is a perfect link, and it is Steven Gerrard from LA Galaxy as well. A few MLS players out there, you've seen the next one joining him, guys, uh, which is obviously Frank Lampard his 90 rated card and that's a solid midfield already and it's made even better by the addition of the inform Wayne Rooney drop down to centre midfield and uh, he does an absolute boss job uh, boss job that's a weird comment for Bateson to make but that completes a holding midfield the rest of the team's very attacking it is a very active front three as well within the Premier League and um, all three team of season players as well so a very, very solid team. And just the defence and the holding midfield side of this team is just ridiculous. In the cam position, we go one of the lowest rated players in the team, uh, which is Deli Alley, 80 pace, 86 dribbling, 84 physical, 85 passing, 84 shooting. Uh, but a solid, solid card as well. Three games, four goals, three assists, um, just for the games we did play for this squad builder. He's joined with a perfect link on the left-hand side with the 93 rated Harry Kane um, with his uh, 83, uh, 83 pace, 95 shooting, and 92 dribbling, 91 physical, which you actually do feel... Uh, uh, when playing with him and to complete the team guys we are going to go with the Vardy party himself 96 pace 88 dribbling 89 physical and 91 shooting it is Jamie Vardy and that completes the best possible England team available to you on FIFA 16 ultimate team now it's going to be completely different come FIFA 17 guys but we are slowing down with the best possibles now and uh, I can't wait to start bringing you guys FIFA 17 videos because uh, the team's going to be absolutely insane when that does come out so if you guys are new to the channel guys leave a subscription leave a like rating on the video as well and uh, if you go, want to go and check out any more videos, guys, at the end of the video, there'll be some screens popping up, and you guys can click them to go and watch some more best possibles, which I'll leave at the end for you. So let's go and get into the highlights we did manage to get with this team, and hopefully you guys do enjoy it. So guys, with the final best possible England team of FIFA 16, it was only right that we did go absolutely ham, and we were able to do it with the uh, strike partnership of Vardy and Harry Kane. Absolutely awesome finishers. Vardy with his uh, speed and finishing, and even Harry Kane with his, not lack of speed, but he has got a lot of speed, but mainly his strength, positioning, and depth definitely finished in he is absolutely ridiculous and the prices of these team of season players guys are hella cheap so if you guys are looking for some players to enjoy the rest of FIFA 16 with I'll probably point you in the direction of that strike force now when it comes to the defense we did concede a few goals uh, but it was uh, it, it was always good good because we had a godly strike force uh, and especially the center midfield roles of Gerard Lampard and Rooney cleared stuff up and got us on the counter attack even when Rooney does pick up the ball he's very nice at getting it through to the strikers and if you can have a snapshot with uh, obviously Rooney he's got a decent long shot all three of them actually all three of the center midfielders have got absolutely decent long shots so if, a def if a, the defense keeps backing off you guys honestly line it up take a long shot and you'll get a few goals in there now even with Delhi Ali 
Uh, he's a pretty tidy cam. Very too like I have a, a a nice cam. I always have in most of my videos, and it's not a tall player. It's usually a small, skillful, agile player, which Deli Ali is. Apart from the tall bit, he's too tall for my liking. But he did get on the score sheet with me, and I, I know a lot of people in the FIFA community do really like Deli Ali's team in the season card. But uh, I would definitely prefer to have someone small in there. Maybe like I don't know who who would I put in there from the England team uh, who will play a decent cam. Probably uh, Raheem Sterling potentially, uh, but he doesn't make it in now. Like I would say, guys, with the defence, it did leak a few goals. Ashley Cole likes to push on forward. Gary Neville likes to push on forward. Now, we all know what happens with Gary Neville pushing up forward uh, when we look in the real-life situations with him, um, but it was uh, a solid team, even David Seaman. A lot of times I have fallen out of him in previous um, months using him in my teams because he is usually a pretty, pretty uh, nasty goalkeeper to use, but he did have a lot of fun with this one and uh, did save a few shots. But as you can see, guys, he did concede a few goals with the team. Uh, but as a whole, it was a very, very enjoyable team to use. So if you guys have used any of these players in the best possible England team, I know the Wayne Rooney one's been overused by myself. I've used it a lot recently with the best possible Manchester United and stuff. Um, but I don't think I've used the strike force of Kane and Vardy together. And this that was a very, very interesting one. Even having Deli Alley at Cam Forcing. So that, that was a nice play. It's a shame it finished so, so nastily. But it was a very, very um, enjoyable team. And I can't wait to see what it looks like come FIFA 17 with the likes of Jamie Carragher added in and also uh, Anton Ferdinand as well. Uh, no, not Anton Ferdinand. Rio Ferdinand because I think he's going to be... Uh, a centrepiece to the defence of England uh, come the release of FIFA 17. So guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, remember to leave a like rating on it. Subscribe if to me, uh, well, subscribe to me guys if you're not subscribed already. And uh, go and check out all the other videos on the channel as well because there's been a hell of a lot uh, this month already. So guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.